Hi, welcome back to my cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm showing you eight essential bar tools to make great drinks at home. I'll then dive into a few other recommended tools that aren't essentials, but they're gonna make your life a little bit easier when you're making drinks. And of course, I'll leave a link to all the featured barware in the description below in case you wanna check it out. But before I get started, a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, A Bar Above, for supplying some of today's barware. Let's get straight into it. If you're making cocktails at home, the absolute first thing that you need is a cocktail shaker. There's a multitude of shakers out there. There's cobblers, Parisians, uh, Boston shakers, but my favorite style of shaker to use, which most professional bartenders use, is a tin on tin shaker. It consists of two tins, a smaller tin, also known as a cheetah tin, which has an 18 ounce capacity, and a larger tin, which has a 28 ounce capacity. They simply join together like so. When you add ice into the shaker, it chills the stainless steel, contracts a tiny bit, and makes a nice tight seal. You don't want your shaker to be too flimsy, or it can be a little bit hard to separate. You want a good quality tin, such as these ones from a bar above, where you can simply press it, and they'll separate very easily. Then we have a double-sided jigger. In particular, this is referred to as a Japanese-style jigger, which is tall and slender, has two sides to measure, two ounces, 60 mil, one ounce or 30 mil. There's a number of markings on the inside so you can accurately measure your ingredients. And the advantage of using a taller jigger is that it's more forgiving when you make a mistake. Next up is a bar spoon. Uh, this particular one is 12 inches slash 30 centimeters, which is probably the average length bar spoon that you'll use. And it fits perfectly with most mixing glasses. This has a five or 600 mil capacity, sits in nicely, a nice length, so you've got enough room to hold whilst you stir your drink. Also has a weighted teardrop at the end to balance the spoon, and you can also use it as a stirring rod too. Next is a Hawthorne strainer. You do have three kinds of strainer. You've got a fine strainer, a julep strainer, and the Hawthorne strainer. This is the one that's absolute bare essential that you need when you're making cocktails, and you can use it in conjunction with your cocktail tin to hold back the ice and strain your drink into your glass. And if you're a pinch, you can also use it with your mixing glass, or you can use a julep strainer with your mixing glass, but this one strainer does a lot. And this particular strainer has really tight coils, so it's got to hold back a lot of the pip and pulp and ice shards. So you could probably get away with not using a fine strainer if you're just at home. Now you're going to need a chopping board and a knife to cut your fruit, to cut your citrus, be garnishes, and I just have a couple of cheaper knives, a little plastic handled sharpened knife. You don't have to have all three of these, just one will do. Uh, I've got a straight knife, which I quite like, which is great for cutting lemons and limes. And then a medium sized knife, which is semi serrated, a uh, little bit of a longer blade, which is useful for cutting larger fruit, such as grapefruit and oranges. And you need a couple of tools to juice your citrus. In this case, I've got an elbow, which is perfect for juicing lemons and limes. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too small, this particular one, for juicing larger citrus, such as oranges, large lemons, or grapefruit. Uh, but generally, I'll use a citrus press or a citrus reamer for juicing the larger fruit. And I recommend having a multitude of ice molds. You can never have enough ice molds, so you tend to always run out, especially when you're making cocktails. These are large ice molds that are perfect for cocktails. They are roughly three centimeters, one and a quarter inch cubes, uh, which are just the ideal size for shaking, stirring, serving your drinks. Uh, if you have at least a couple of trays and then you can transfer your ice when it's ready into a Tupperware container or a, a plastic bag and then you can prepare more ice, especially if you're preparing ahead of time for a get together. You wanna make sure you have lots of ice on hand and good quality ice. So if you are just getting started or you're looking for a kit for a cocktail enthusiast, then make sure you check out this particular set from a bar above, which includes a bar spoon, cocktail shaker, tin on tin, a Japanese style jigger, uh, a nice wooden muddler, and then the three kinds of strainers that you're gonna need, being a julep strainer, fine strainer, and a Hawthorne strainer. The link will be in the description below. Now this next lot of bar tools aren't absolute essentials to have when you're first getting started, but they are nice to have. So let's get into it. The mixing glass. Now, the only reason this didn't make it into the absolute essentials is because you can use a shaker tin to uh, stir your cocktails, but most people, most especially professional bartenders, everyone's gonna use a mixing glass specifically for stirring cocktails. Uh, this is a really nice thick glass. It's got a nice solid base, which makes it easier when you're stirring. So the mixing glass isn't gonna wobble to and fro. And also you can keep this in the fridge or freezer to chill down your glass 
and then because it's got a nice solid base, it's a nice thick glass, it'll stay colder for longer and help make a better cocktail. Most recent glasses are about 500 mil or 17 ounce capacity. Next, we have a peeler. Well, two different peelers. Uh, these are my two favorite brands and they're also probably the most common peelers that get used in bar environments. You have the OXO Y peeler, but keep in mind this is incredibly sharp. It'll leave a minimal amount of pith on the skin. So it's ideal for your finer, more intricate garnishes. And then next, I have the Bosca Cheese Slicer. So it's actually not designed for, for peeling oranges or citrus, but it works surprisingly well. Uh, it leaves a little bit more pith on, uh, it makes a nice sturdy citrus peel, which I think is ideal for more rustic drinks or drinks such as Negronis uh, and Old Fashions, and also when you're flaming zest. I highly recommend checking out both, but if you want to go for one, potentially the Bosco. Next tool is the fine strainer. Uh, this particular one is from the team from a bar above, uh, and it's a really large size fine strainer which is a good thing because you could potentially put the whole entire cocktail and there's a lot of surface area on the mesh so that if you're straining out with a lot of solids, such as a strawberry, a muddled strawberry, then it'll pass through the sieve quite quickly. Otherwise, if you use a smaller strainer, it'll block up really quick and it'll take a while to prepare your drink or to make your drink. This has a really nice fine mesh to it. So it'll get rid of all the pips and pulps and ice shards. Now, if you enjoy making caprinhas or juleps, then you're going to need a muddler. In the case of the Caprinia, want you want to heavily press down on those limes to extract the lime oils from the skin and the juice from the fruit. Or in the case of the julep, you want to gently press to extract the aromatics from that, that fresh mint. But you need a, a nice solid muddler, and I really like wooden muddlers. Next up, we have a microplane, a, an essential tool for grating freshly grated nutmeg on flips, dogs, um, and tiki drinks. Then I have a funnel. Uh, probably not a common item that would come up in a bar essentials list, but you're always gonna be making syrups. You always wanna transfer ingredients into a bottle. This is gonna make your life so much easier. If you wanna make some tiki drinks, then you're most likely going to need some pebble ice or crushed ice. Pebble ice is produced by an ice machine. Crushed ice, you can make it by hand simply with a Lewis bag, which is just a cotton drawstring bag. Fill this with ice. Grab a heavy mallet, you can get an inexpensive mallet and crush away with brute force to produce your crushed ice for your tropical drinks. And the last item on my list is a julep strainer. The julep strainer can be used in conjunction with your mixing glass. So you pull back the ice when you're straining your martinis and your methamphetamines. Now this rounds out my list of essential and recommended bar tools. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you soon.